Yo, what up? So, I think we started the 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 double features on this channel with Ginger, and to date, Ginger is the only band that I've put together a triple reaction for, and I think we're gonna keep that just between us. Okay. With that in mind, I do have another triple feature reaction loaded up for you. So we're going to take a look at Perennial today. Uh, it's, I don't know, I just found it. It sounded interesting. Um, but So we have the live version, uh, not the official version. That's not what we're doing. Get it together. Okay, listen, I don't have a plan. You guys might not know this about me. I never have a plan. Okay, I have a process. I don't have a plan. There's a difference. So, the... The Wacken? Valken? Somebody corrected me, and I, I forget already how it's pronounced, but um, the, this one, this 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 word, the, the Valken, open air, 2019 performance. We also have Eugene's bass playthrough, which we're going to look at first, and then Vlad's drum playthrough. So we're, uh, we're going to look at the bass playthrough first, focus on the bass, get a sense for that. Then we're going to take a look at the drum playthrough. And then we're going to look at the live performance uh, all together. So I uh, hope you're excited. I am. Let's get started. Links in the description if you want to support the channel. Uh, you may not have heard, but I was uh, recently laid off. So I don't have, um, you know, income right now. So Patreon, also other stuff. And they're just, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I'm doing. Not. Okay, here's music. Just a second. Okay, I just wanted to check the audio levels real quick. We're good. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so this bass riff is nasty as fuck. Listen, okay, first of all, you get the little <laughs> But then what happens after that also if you look at his right hand what's going on with the fingers there It's so fluid. It almost doesn't look human Nice and clean Oh my god. Right? It's so, like, it, it's so, there's such fluidity in it. Also, the tone is out of control. I mean, I, I think I, 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 we talked about this in, in one of the other videos. Um, you guys mentioned that, that they're probably using essentially like a, a splitter that splits like the, the, the highs and the mids and then applying different effects to the highs and the mids. So you get kind of like a, a, a two different instruments out of the same instrument, right? Happening here, very cool. Also, it looks like we are in drop A tuning. So whatever we're doing with the A string, it, I mean, I can't even talk about it, dude. I don't have words. I don't have words for that. Goodness. Let's keep going. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it was the snare drum that threw me off there. Listen, listen. Uh, so the, the like the first half of that phrase, the da 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 da. Um, the the snare drum hits the accent with the bass's accent. The second half of the phrase, the accent is syncopated between the snare drum and the bass, and it threw me off for a second. Uh, it's, but it's those little things, right? It's, and Ginger, I think specifically, those little things um, 
they do very well, as, as good as any band out there. One more time so you can hear it, and then we'll keep going. Right there, it's nasty, little, little thing, but yeah. Snare was different that time. We're not to, okay, Vlad, it's not your turn yet. We haven't gotten to you yet, buddy, okay? We haven't gotten to Vlad yet, okay? Stop stealing the show. Oh. Hmm. So what I think is really interesting too, and I'm, I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant, hopefully not too long, but uh, Vlad has this, has he's one of those players for me that has a, a, a creative fingerprint distinct enough for me to be able to pick him out of a lineup. There's this like, I, I want to call it featherweight feel to the way that he, he, he plays. And it, I don't know exactly how he pulls it off because i mean drums are just they're percuss they're percussion so duh, you kind of just like duh. but there, there's a there's a lightness there's a god i would almost say angelic quality to to his kit and to 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 the way that he plays and that what he's doing i think is supported by what eugene is doing on the bass and, and so I'm still working on on this thought, so don't hold me to anything. But it, it's almost like they're counterbalances. So if um, Vlad is more of the like kind of like that the light touch, the just like sprinkle of salt in the stew kind of thing, then Eugene is the heavyweight holding the whole thing down, right? And and they they play very well with each other. There you have it. That's what it is. It's it's you know what, Vlad? I'm not even gonna comment, okay? I'm sorry to stop. I'm just gonna let it play. When we get when when it's your turn, Vlad, we'll talk about you. Oh, ho, 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 oh, okay, pause, 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 just because of how awesome. Oh, that note is so crisp, so crisp. Really feeling the Opeth vibes right here. You can really feel the, the influence. Mm. Oh man, like we talk about contrast a lot. Ugh, how beautiful! Ugh.
there you have it. Playthrough number one. Eugene the Madman. Um, and uh, I'm really excited to, to hear the vocals kind of get added into this. But first, first, Vlad, okay, you were a little impatient during Eugene's playthrough, so, all right, all right. Side note, really glad we start. I know, but I'm really glad we started with the bass playthrough because I'm really picking up Eugene in this, and it's just, it's so much better. It's so much better. You know we gotta do that again. Come on, come on now. It was cool. You can say it's like it's a bit of 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 There's that Eugene bass, bleh, whatever that note is, the bleh one that are fucked out about. <laughs> okay, I gotta be honest. I'm not digging the sound on this drum playthrough i can't so uh the 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 recognition that i had that i paused and then i was like no we'll wait until we get to vlad was that what gives i think what gives vlad's playing this quality of these like very feathery strokes is his use of ghost notes so uh for those of you who might not know um I'll try and explain it. I'm not the most musically inclined person, but I know a little bit of stuff. So um, the idea when you when you're writing music um, and I'm specifically referring to classical music. So if you're using like a staff paper and you're writing in a specific key and you're writing like quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, you're using all of that. Um, notation is very important. Right. So so you put dynamics in there. So dynamics are things like um, uh, crescendos, decrescendos, um, like the, the, the overall in, like modulating the overall intensity of the piece. Like we do that with dynamics, but we modulate the the rhythm and the melody that we're playing uh, with the with with how we orchestrate both our use of silence and 
the notes that we play. So you have, so say you just have like a regular quarter note um, that's written and you, you would just play that normally, right? Now, if you wanted a little bit more emphasis on that quarter note, as opposed to the quarter note that came before, you put an accent on it. So it'd be like, da, 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 right? Every other one was accented, obviously. It's still a quarter note, still occupies the same space, the same time, it's the same note. It's just the emphasis is a little bit different. So on the other side of that, if you wanted a note to barely, barely kind of he to 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 come out we call that we call those ghost notes they're notes that i mean they're aptly named because they almost don't exist and so this is one of the things that i really enjoy about matt halpern from periphery is that he's his ghost note technique is just excellent uh it, it's it's uh really a marvel to look at but What's different about Vlad's approach is that his ghost notes are more like they're de they're unaccented regular notes, and so they're they're actually a little bit more crisp, and so you can distinguish the ghost notes more easily, and you can hear the space between them. That's what's important, and I think that specifically is what gives his drumming gives his play style that like feathery light stroke kind of thing. It's, like, it's his ghost notes are clear. And you can hear them. They're not undulating, you know, sub right below the sur surface. So, uh, very cool. Although I say that the way that this was miked, you're not. I'm not picking up the ghost notes really at all. So, um, it's unfortunate. His accents are really good too. Yeah. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a. A little bit. It's a, it's a little bit better there. You can you can hear the three different kinds of notes if you if you listen real close. Um, it's mostly ghost notes, and there's one accent and maybe just a couple of the the unaccented. So the 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 da hit is accented and then the follow-up with his uh left hand is unaccented but it's not go a ghost note All right, so I don't know if you could tell, but I had to work pretty hard to block out um, Tatiana during that uh, during Vlad's performance there. So I'm excited. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit better sound quality for Vlad as well, so we can hear a little bit more of, of what's going on. Let's get started. Thank you, Saint Germain. <laughs> well, with the next song. We must say goodbye to you. But rather not goodbye, but see you next time. Sodom feels like funeral to me. Mm. A long song of grief. And not for what has passed, but for what.
Oh my god! Stop! 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 I'm sorry, I think I was blowing you guys out there. Okay, but listen! Listen! Okay! Alright, okay. So, um, I really... That was so cool. It was so cool for me. Because you heard it in the in, in Eugene's playthrough. The... But it kind of, without Tatiana's vocals, didn't, like, fill out the whole thing. And then I was having issues with Vlad's... The way Vlad was mic so I think I passed over it. Didn't quite catch what was happening. And the whole thing... Whoop, did that right there. Okay, listen. Exhausted Nigel is all trying to control his own hopes. Our world's been taken on to us, and Jack knows us now. Death rolls our slowly, only to our toes. Good lord, girl! Hold on just a second. I'm sorry. My camera's dropping frames. I, get, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't I have to dig into it and figure out because it's just started doing that. I don't know why. I'll have to figure that out. But I have to also figure out this. Okay, that's pretty much what I thought happened. My girl rose like a phoenix. That's what she rose like a phoenix from the ashes. I heard she said that. And like, I really enjoy the way that Tatiana as a performer embodies the lyrics and the meaning in her live performances. Watch. This is my way to the 
we've heard mm. a lot of great things about you, mm. but it's about our expectations, man. You know, fucking. She she said it, Vulcan. I heard her. Okay, that's how you say it, Vulcan. What? Um. So 20, 26 and a half minutes for a triple feature. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I got a little long-winded in there in the beginning, but you all know me at this point. So let me know what you think in the comments and which one I'm going to check out next. Um, I'm a little bit spent right now. That was emotional. Legitimately. It was a roller coaster. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. All right. We good? I'm gonna get out of here. Let's back in and tag it.